Hi everybody, Chris Krzysznik with EXP Realty and the Krzysznik Group. I'm a full service residential realtor licensed in Maryland, Virginia, West Virginia, and DC, and I love to help people buy and sell homes. Thank you for visiting my page. I hope you enjoy the content. Um, the reason I put content out is to make the home selling and the home buying process understandable to people so they don't find it so intimidating and they are able to build wealth and the lifestyle they want through real estate, okay? Um, so please subscribe and share this content with everybody. I am in the middle of the seller series. The last video I put out was uh, using a realtor, choosing the right realtor to sell your home, okay? And I kind of caught myself and I didn't realize or I didn't make the case why you should use a realtor to sell your home. So here's some quick stats. 87% of buyers use a realtor to buy their home. 89% of sellers use a realtor to sell their home. The average sales price for the home that sells with a realtor versus the home that does not use a realtor to sell is five to 7%. What is that telling us? What that basically tells us is that it's priced into the market. The realtor commission that you're gonna have to pay in order to sell, use a realtor to sell your home is already priced into a market. So if you were to go out and sell without a realtor, the buyer you would attract would either have an agent or they would be savvy enough on their own to know that you're not paying a commission to a realtor. So their offer would be reduced by five to 7% because at the end of the day, you're getting the same amount of money. So those consumers are wise and savvy enough to know that, okay? So it, it, it statistically makes sense for you to use a realtor to represent you on the sale of your home, okay? Now, that's, that's statistically speaking. Practically speaking, I'm going to give you six bullet points on why it makes sense for a realtor, uh, for you to use a realtor to sell your home and why that's the best course of action to take. Number one, expertise. A realtor's expertise and experience in this industry is unmatched. I would compare it to, I have a physical problem. Like I, my back literally has been hurting for years. Okay. It tightens up and I've started working out more and it's getting sore and sore and tighter and tighter and stuff. And, and, and it's starting to, to impede my progress. So I'm at the gym the other day. I talked to the trainer and I say, look, I'm having an issue with my back. Can you, can you give me any advice? And in 15 minutes, she gave me three exercises, three exercises that would take a total of three minutes for me to perform on a daily basis. And my back pain was gone. I'm feeling better already. Okay. That's the type of experience that you want in your corner negotiating on your behalf. And a realtor can do that because that's their, that's their job. Okay. Number two, the MLS access that a realtor has versus what a consumer or an end user or a third party has um, is far superior. So we can present data and manipulate data to actually look at things from a certain perspective uh, and look at prices, pricing points, market trends, all of that stuff. We can look at it from a certain perspective and we can look at immediate data, the data that is actually happen happening Third party sites are not looking at the immediate data. So there's, there's a lag in there. So you may be behind shortly and that may end up biting you in the behind. Number three, just for the convenience and to streamline, there's probably a hundred to 250 things that a realtor does on your behalf in order to get your home marketed and sell sold to settlement <coughs> and a realtor is going to take care of all of those things. Think about this. What if you put 25 buyers through your home? If you sell it by yourself, are you going to take their calls and coordinate all that? And then when you get, get those buyers through your home, are you going to follow up and get feedback? And then when you get a contractor, you're going to know how to, how to break it down and see if it's good or not. Are you going to know all of these things? Are you going to be able to ratify a contract? Are you going to be able to manage the financing contingency and all the other contingencies? Are you gonna be able to coordinate with the lender and the title company and the other agent in order to get the settlement? There's literally hundreds of things that need to get done for you to get your house sold and a realtor does them by second nature most of the time.
Okay. Number four, negotiating experience and objectivity. Um, they stay away from the transaction because they have a certain impartiality and they have experience handling people's most valuable asset. So they can, they can help you navigate through these waters and through these stressful times a lot better. Okay. Number five, relationships, not only relationships with other realtors, but relationships with lenders, appraisers, contractors, inspectors, all of these people that might be valuable to you at some point in the transaction, a realtor can tell you or help them do their job and bring settlement about a lot easier and less stressfully for you. Okay. Number six, wisdom and support. It's no secret that it is really stressful to sell a home. In fact, it's the third most stressful event in most adults life. And a realtor can serve as your, uh, your, your conscience or, or your advisor, your consigliere, your therapist, or whatever you need him or her to be, they can help you through that process so it doesn't seem so stressful and so overwhelming. Anyway, those are the six points. I hope you enjoyed them. I hope this was informative and mildly entertaining. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.